Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And since I think I have all of one parking space, and since the Paragon R is on sale, and that's kind of a temptation, and since I don't even know if I even own it already, uh, I think it's time for me to kind of go through my garages and figure out what's going on. I thought, hey, maybe you'd like to come along for the ride. If not, this is not the video for you. But that's what we're going to do today is check everything out. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to get this online because I've been having trouble with Sony Vegas as of late. But, let us start up here in the north, up in my Polito Bay apartment house kind of thing. You know, it's the one that has, looks like it has a two-car garage, and you walk inside and it's a six-car garage. It's great. It's magic. Here we have the uh, the Vagrant, the fastest, uh, the true fastest off-road vehicle, even though the BF400 can be raced against it and is much faster, so you use that, you don't use this, but still, I have one. That's a keeper, not getting rid of that anytime soon. This vehicle, this Dilettante, this is the Happy Birthday EU Dilettante, which I took to the top of Mount Chiliad as far as the whole, I think it was a Title 30, you know, Section 13, Title 13 nonsense about, you know, copyrights and stuff like that that make life just so difficult. So that, that was, this is a keeper forever. That's, that, that, that's a historic car. No question about it. This is one of my original bugs, my little injections. Love this car. They got, how can you not have one? It's, they're, just, they're just fantastic. That's a keeper, not going anywhere. This, of course, uh, on my other character, I have the... The Everon that looks just like the car from, uh, you know, when Top Gear went to the North Pole. This is the, the fancier, dancier version of that. Same thing, except it's got a little bit more going on with it. Keeping that one. I, lo I love the Everon. It's a nice, bouncy little car. I've got my Sand King XL, which is what I used to use to make money. You know, grab another Sand King XLs. Love that one. That's got, that's a, got a place in my heart. Don't want to get rid of that. The hell is this one called? The Free Crawler, right? I think, as I recall, I had a Free Crawler. I won this off the podium, and then I sold the other Free Crawler. So this is my Free Crawler now. It's been a little bit. Is that what it's called? The Free Crawler? Yeah. Free Crawler. And I have a bike. So we have a bike there. Just hanging on the wall. I forget how I think I might have stolen that one. And we walk outside. So that's a full garage right there. Six cars. I don't really want to go a 10 car. I want to have this house because this is where I go when I want to go up Chiliad. I have some stuff stored here. It's good. It's a good place. Uh, let me call up. I'm going to start just using... I think I just lost it because I was checking the name of that. I'm gonna start using the uh, my Yuga 4x4 as one of my main main wheels here. Huh? It's just ride? so stylistic. Yuga Classic Pro before. Bring it to you. Yuga Classic 4x4. Da 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 da. And you can see why. Check it out. I don't know why that happened. I didn't want to pull a weapon out. It matches my clothes. It's just great. Yay. You Classic 4x4. It's so me. Now let's take a quick zip over to the arcade. We'll check out that. I wish the arcade parking was a little better lit. Like I know where they're going with it. But I mean, you know. I realize it's a dark and gloomy space where you plan heists. It's also where I just park my cars, and I don't really ever plan on doing the casino heist again. I'm gonna hurt myself. We'll make the real money on uh, K.O. Perico. I can do that solo. Solo. We can check out this one here. Rock up. 
these cars. Got my picador. The picador I can... Whoa, don't get in it, don't get in it. Stop. The picador I can almost see you know, getting rid of, but you know, you can't tell in here because the lighting is terrible. But it is a cool purple. And the picador is one of those cars that comes up periodically. Did I hit it? I hit S. Why am I... Why am I walking? Oh, the shift key is held down for some reason. It's jammed. I think you can see a little bit of the purple there. I like this car. It's got a cool license plate. You know, 44 or something, 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 44. All right, that's cool. Sterling. you got to have a Sterling. Just a beautiful car. I do love this car. That's not going anywhere. Nope, no, no, you're not going anywhere either. There's certain cars you have to have because you play GTA Online. And the Z-Type is one of them. It's just, it's a thing. <sighs> this is the Tally, right? Tally RSX? Where is it? No, it's the Furia. You know, they, they look kind of alike. So here, here's my Furia. I can see getting rid of the Furia. I got it on sale. It does look nice. It's certainly not a priority to get rid of. It does look a lot like the there's a certain this is kind of the standard look of supercars now, so they're all gonna start looking like this. This mid-engine, certain aerodynamically tuned. Is he sport? Is he sport's a critical must-have. That is just too awesome for, for rally courses. And regular courses, I mean, it's got a lot of grip. I like this car. I have to get rid of the uh, the sun visor there because if you get locked in first person you're screwed nightshade love my nightshade it's not a great car it just looks cool and you gotta you gotta appreciate that it looks cool I, and i do but this is like a perfect build-up of it too i mean those those are just exact wheels it needs in my own opinion and we walk around here grab a gt classic Tricked out just to be ridiculous. Loving it. <coughs> I can see that getting other paint jobs. But I like the gold and black. No question about it. But the, the metallic paint just kind of hides the uh, the striping a little bit. So I don't know. We might, we might change that up a little bit. Now this is a podium car. Podium car that I got. And it's got a glitched out tail on it. I've done nothing to... I, I, won't, I won't bring this into... A, uh, an auto shop. It's got no upgrades. This, what was it the SS81 something? SR80 something? I forget. SR80? Yeah, that's not going anywhere. We're just going to keep this as like a, hey, look, they gave it to us broke. So I'm just going to just gonna leave it that way. Not, just, it's just a collector's item. Then I've got my um, Rancho you know, Classic Custom, whatever it is. But here, this is the, uh, the Class A. This is my, uh, you know, the unknown stuntman car here. What the hell is the name of that show? I can you can tell what I can see was fair. Yeah, you know the one I mean. That's right. We're going to just go with that. I haven't seen it in a long time. What the hell is the name of that show? Wow. Age. That's Google syndrome, because my brain knows I can just Google that, so it just says, yeah, oh, you don't need to know that. And here we are. We're in the facility. Let's take a quick look around via the vehicle manager. See what room we have here. Okay, the barrage. That could go. I think I got too good a deal on that. It's not worth it getting rid of it. Dude and Fav, got to have... Weaponized Tampa. Perfect car for your facility. These are all perfect facility cars. JB700W. You need a good old-fashioned insurgent. And a, an Entity X... Now, the Entity XRR is interesting. I think I won that one off the off the podium. Didn't really want it. It's, just, it's a secret to even have such a crappy car, so I'm just keeping it in here. The Winky... I could see myself getting rid of, the, rid of the Winky at some point, because that really is just a terrible, terrible vehicle. But 
It was difficult to get on, on a deal. You had to be involved in the K.O. Perico heist. So maybe I'll just try and redo it at some point. So that it's more pleasant for me. And a couple things didn't show up there. in the Because it can only be in their own spot. So let's go up here. Don't hit the thing. Do, 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 come on, turn around. Don't get stuck. Strangely enough, the tank, the tank is in its own spot, but that comes up. The thruster, we have the thruster. And then over here, the Chernobog. Huzzah. You gotta have yourself a nice orange Chernobog. With blue wheels. So it's in, it's in the same color scheme as everything else. Do, 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 do. And the office garages were in office garage one. Let us check out. We got the Roosevelt Valor, a trophy truck, the Nero Custom, the 8F Drafter, the Blista Kanjo. Blista Kanjo is a little bit obsolete now, but for as much as people go on it, the, the car is not good. I like this. I like this car. You know, it's. I did a whole. You know, video series, or well, at least one video, one really complicated video, about how the Lista Kanjo was better on uh, better on splits than the well, what's the Italian the the uh, Brioso? Because you know the Brioso just spins on tubes; it just it just goes crazy. Shitaro, that's a much key. I want all these cars, by the way. Nothing, nothing here. I'm going to let go of. Although I think in this. Uh, in this setting here, I think there are some that could go. Now, this Flash GT. I'm not real sentimentally attached to that one. It's not like Vader, where I made a specific plate for it. There's a chance I could let the Flash GT go, because I do have the Izzy Sport, and the Izzy Sport's always going to trump the Flash GT. I'm not likely taking the Flash out. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Tally GTO, obvious keeper. Pariah, obvious keeper. Wagner, obvious. Oh, it's just a wonderful car. This, These are all from my, my real heavy citrus paint job days. Yellow and orange. Uh, hot Ring Saber, got must have. Piss Foster Dominator, and the Custom Saber Turbo. These are some of the top cars. I, I love them both. We're going to keep those. Zion Cabrio, obvious keeper. Turismo Classic. Your best of the bunch as far as the sports classics are concerned. Emerus, you gotta have an Emerus. How can you not have an Emerus? Duke of Death, love my Duke of Deaths. The Devastate, done in Devastator paint job. Gotta keep that. Ominous, goes without saying. Gauntlet Hellfire, love that Gauntlet Hellfire, especially in that paint job. It's just great. So, other than the Flash, the Flash is a potential. That's on a bubble. That might be. Let's, let's go take a quick look at the Flash. I mean, it's a nice car. It's a little bit twitchy. Good paint job. Well, fully customized. Do we keep it? I don't know. I, might, I don't know if I've ever raced this. I don't know if I've ever done anything with this other than get it on sale and, and customize it. Does it bring joy? It looks good in the garage. I'll grant you that. Let's go up a floor. Or down a floor. However this works. So it should be up a floor, right? Garage 2. Across the floor. Go into the other garage. One of the other garages. Okay, now this is... A little rustier. The Tauros Keeper. The Hermes. I don't know. Does it bring joy? I, I do like the Hermes in general. Buccaneer Custom must keep. Voodoo. That original Rusty Voodoo. Gotta keep that. I had that for a long time. That was a key car for a while. Cheberek. I love the Cheberek. Especially my cardboard Cheberek. The Yosemite. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's the Yosemite. Yosemite is a great car. I, I do like that. I love the, the kind of beat-up, patinaed version that I have here. My Ruiner, you got to have a Ruiner. 
You just gotta my Mamba Topless. I suppose I could get rid of the Raptor. But it's kind of a unique thing. I kind of like the Raptor. The Nemesis Spike could go. That's really useless. The Hakachu, no, that's a keeper. Hot Rod Blazer, probably a keeper. This Sentinel, I grabbed that on a Lark, and it, it's just the paint job I like. We're just keeping that for paint job reasons. So there's a couple, there's 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 a, an option here on the Nemesis. Maybe the Raptor. Probably keep the Raptor because it's just weird enough. The Nemesis is really, I was free, I think. The Surfer, do we keep the Surfer? I have a couple Surfers. You can always get another Surfer. This is kind of my rusty floor. So there's some options here. The Surfer might go... The Dune Loader. Probably can keep the Dune Loader. There's something... I had an uncle who had a track like that. Almost as beat up. The Rat Loader. I gotta keep some rusty cars. The Trusty Jack. This, the Tornado, and the Emperor. I think those two can go. We don't need those. Rusty as they are. The Rusty Rebel will probably keep. Oh, you know, I have a lot of 4x4s. If I tweak that up, if I turned it into a dune runner, like like a really wild kind of dune runner kind of thing, I can maybe I'll keep that. I have options there. But these two, I think they're prime candidates. Prime candidates to be let go. Let me let me look at because I can only do like what, what an hour or something like that. Let me look at that top floor here for a moment. Is that a Rusty Surfer? See, stuff like the Rusty Surfer, you can grab them up and pull it all the time. There's no value to it. They're not rare. See, this is it's this hot rod. That's kind of neat. All right? The, the Rusty Tornado Rat Rod. This is Rusty. And I was going with a theme years ago. Probably at this point. Is there anything cool about the newspaper in the back when I I think we can let that go. And then you got the rusty surfer. Now the only thing about this is it does kind of call out to uh you know traveling in a fried out crumbie. A hippie trail head full of zombie. It's not quite the right color either. And it is absolutely painful to drive. Like, do I need a minute work surfer? I can always... Oh, it's not the emergency one to get, to get rid of. Let's continue the tour for right now, and then we'll come back. One of these is going. One of these is going to make a, a potential place for a Paragon R if I don't already have one. Do they still have that rule in place where you can't you can only sell so many cars at once? I don't even know. So much changes in this game. Traveling in the fight I come back. On every trail head full of zombie. I met a strange lady, she made me nervous. She took me in and gave me breakfast. All right, the Revolter. Revolter's kind of an interesting car, and I, I like the kind of weird tiger paint job I got on this one. The Menacer looks like it's made out of Legos. There's no real use for it. I could dump the Menacer. I got that on a deal. Yeah, I got it on such a deal, it would be hard to replace. The BJXL, I kind of just like that car. That looks like the, exactly like the one that... Uh, what's his name? Rutledge? Was doing on Top Gear America, he was using that car. I forget. The Oracle XS. I could see, I mean, I love the paint job on this one. I grabbed that just to be like an office car. This is, I think, my office car kind of thing, place. You know, I got another Zion. I love Zions. I'm keeping that. The Oracle, I could see getting rid of. Tezrak, obviously a keeper. The, fu the, the Fugitive, I think I did. There's some history with the Fugitive, and I just love the way it sounds. So that'll be that'll keep it in the office fleet. I got a banana custom and a banana. 
both of them were involved in something where they got I was in in a in a fix and grabbed this car off the street. I think this one was actually clipped into a part of part of the, the structures here someplace. It was clipped into a building or something. And I grabbed that off of the guy who had clipped it into the building and kept that. And there is just something nice about, you know, old Cadillacs. I mean, that's a, in far, as far as they're trash in the game, they're, they're worth nothing, they're this and that. But just in, in from my childhood, those were nice luxury cars. And they're just something that if the secretary said, oh, I'm taking the Cadillac. Okay, go ahead. The Regina, you have to have a Regina. It's, it's, it's the law. Christmas clique, that has obvious uses. Blista, I love my blistas. You gotta love a blista. Can you, can you buy those now? I don't know. I think you might be able to buy them now. They used to be, I had to grab them off the road, that kind of thing. Cheetah Classic, you gotta like a Cheetah Classic. It's sometimes a little bit easier to drive than the Turismo. Although I've gotten to the point where I think I do better with the Turismos anyway. Mesa, that's one of those Mesas you have to get from, you know, that's a, a Merriweather Mesa car. We're keeping that. Saddler, I forget why I grabbed the Saddler, but we got the Saddler. Have to keep a pickup truck around, especially if you were having like parts duty kind of kind of stuff. These are all collectible Patriots, where it's like you can only get them in certain configurations, kind of sort of thing. We've had that discussion before. You know, this I forget one of them is customized. It stripped every when you when you take a, a Patriot into an auto shop, it strips everything. As a matter of fact, if I hit Z here. Oh, you have to be standing in the thing. You can't be doing it from here. You can see some of these aren't insured. We'll take a look at those in a minute. Uh, this Stratum looks exactly like my old uh, my old Subaru Outback. So that's like a, a sentimental car there. That's that's an homage. And you just, you just gotta have a gold Vajero. You just do. I'm not I'm not getting rid of the Vajero. That's that's a nice car. We can we can take a look at the. Uh, I don't think you could sell the cars in the auto shop here. That would be nice. And get rid of that emperor real quick. We can, we can try. So as you can see, this, this mammoth patron, not insured. This is never leaving. Because if you take it in... Um, actually, that looks like it's been pretty well stripped to everything anyway. You lose the front bumper, is that it? Yeah, it's the front bumper makes that one unique. This one's not insured because if you bring it in, you lose the uh, you lose the side pipes, you lose the the top lights. Doesn't have the front bumper, but again, you can't configure it that way. And once, once this goes in the shop, it's over. So you can this have this can never leave. It's just in my garage. Now this one has been customized. That's that's a crew blue with um. I think it's a crew blue. But this is the kind you go in and it strips everything. Now, this is how it comes out of the shop. There's no exhaust, no lights. I figure if they ever fix that glitch, uh, then this will be a rare car. Because then you won't be able to glitch it out that way. And if the saddler, I forget, it's just a nice purple and blue. You need you need just a regular pickup, right? Not in game, but I mean like if you're if you're role playing this. Okay, let's see if we can sell one of those rusty... Let's, let's try and sell the Rusty Emperor. Sell the Rusty Emperor. I'm tempted to not because, I mean... I can walk across the street and do the tour of the... Uh, the tour of my Del Perro apartment. Real easy. Let's see. We have to sell the Nemesis, right? Let's take a look at the Nemesis. It's funky. It's purple. It's pointless. I'm never, ever going to pick this bike. It's got customizability, blah, 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 but I did the wrong thing. I was supposed to just try and sell it. Okay, so we'll, we'll watch it go up the thing. That'll be our homage to the goodbye Nemesis. And it's worthless, except for the paint. I mean, we're selling the paint. Okay, so we get in. E to modify. 
What are we doing today? Getting rid of this. Can you sell this? What can I help you with? No, you can't sell. I mean, you know. Wheels, transmission. Wasn't there something? It's not even that. I thought this was one of those really customizable ones. It's not. I think the ground. See you next time. Not with this bike. Because I need space. What the fuck? Let's go this way. I mean, it's a bike, so it's pretty zippy, but I mean, it's not ultra zippy. Yeah. As everything starts to go to hell. Why is that computer? Why do you do this to me? Hey, that 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 970 isn't running as good as it used to. I don't know. I took the wrong turn because everything was glitched out. Okay, let's simplify it for you. Let's. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Get rid of this bike. That's just worth nothing. Uh, it's 50k. That's what I have into it. Bye bye. Now I have a parking space. Yay! What we're we gonna do? Let's see if we can do multiple sales. I've done that before. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. Which do you think? Let's get rid of the, the, the Emperor. It's the least interesting of the Rusties. And yet, it probably performs better than the other do. I don't know about the Tornado. That'd be a tough call. So I'll have to use it to drive back. Because I can't sell for the next day. Oh, just lost some money. This isn't really about the money, it's about the parking. Me to perform. Well, Miracle is selling two cars in one day. Yeah, we're Should just gonna. Yeah, well, let me sell it. Okay. Can we get on a run here? Or is this a glitch and I'm gonna get completely banned? Through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? Let's get rid of the surfer. Oh yeah, do I want to consider that as a? Uh, I'm gonna do it orangey, and we'll have to look at the. Let's look and see how many surfers I have. The tornado. In 14 seconds, we can wait 14 seconds, can't we, guys? At least now I'll have some room. In two seconds, that was. It's on the way. Now, what I may do when I'm done with this, some people get rid of the surfer too. I mean, I'm not going to ever want to drive it. Though it could have meme potential if I do it up exactly like the one in Land Down Under. So let's we'll keep it for the meme.
Here for the magic touch. Yeah, I'm not turning this into a slam daddy modified. Two. So one of those because oh, you know what product is the motorcycle was free. It let me do that one. And the other one wasn't a freebie. So now we can't uh, we can't unload anymore. Still, I'd rather, buy, I'd rather be driving this than the, the surfer, so I'm glad we, glad we chose such and such a way. Should we jump it? I don't even know if this is insured. You're in the way! I got an old car. Now you're in the way. You want to be in the way? I think we've shown that being in the way is not the thing to be. Okay, I think we can get around him now. We can do our jump. And that car is now blocking the road, so no one else should be able to block us. Right. Oh, now it disappeared. Can you turn your back on it for a minute? Jump de dooters! It did it! Not well, but it did it, and it wasn't a record of any nature, but. Why it changed view like that, but and let's check out oh, this one. All right, so the Paragon R is at least a possibility now. At least we have some room. All right, we got the Viserys going on here. Love this. I love the Panteras. I just do. I might do something different with a paint job somewhere on the line, but yeah, that, that is nice. This, of course, I used. This is the uh, Faggio Deluxe. Yeah, the, tw the twenty-five million dollar <laughs> uh, Faggio. That was uh, did a video on that. That's a keeper. I love Futos. I just do. That's a secret love. And I love the fact that this one's just so brown. And it's, it drifts around. I got I got into Futos when I was really anxious to get the Chebrek. I realized I have Futos. What the heck do I need the Chebrek? Well, I got the Chebreks. I like those. This, of course, is based on my old Dixie Challenger matchbox. That's a must keep. LOGRH8. Gotta keep those. They're just wonderful. So grippy. So grippy. It's a little off the pace, but you know, I very so often I take this out and do racing with these. You know, I have two art. I have one on my other character, too. And they do well. You know, they're not bad. This is another matchbox homage to a mini that I have. That's, that's another one. I love that car. Love this Mini. Not something that for its own driving dynamic should want to just go cruising around. But it is it is cool. I do kind of miss the Mini races. So maybe when they come back we'll see we'll see that. Purple Duke of Death. Gotta love Duke of Deaths. I'm always, as for, even though they're free. And even though I, I can get them and do this back anytime I want. I always end up having multiple Duke of Deaths because they're just cool. They're just cool. All right, the paradise. I this was you know. This is so many good good memories here with this. For this was like, this was my spawn point. And I had this the garage. I used to steal cars. I used to imagine I used to sleep in the paradise and stay in the garage. And I have another surfer. Now this one's the right color. To be the uh, homage for the uh, the land down under video thing, but it's not it's not burnt out. I need the other one to be this color, and it would be a good homage. This surfer looks kind of cool, though. I mean, it just looks cool. And it's clean. I was wondering where the heck that was coming from. It's the the news. So, I mean, this is this is something we could get rid of. Were we able to sell cars right now? But, ah, uh, I don't know. It does look cool. The other one doesn't look cool, but it looks like it could be a potential homage. So we might repaint the other one to be more of an homage. 
Uh, what do we want to take? Oh, I almost forgot. Dude, it's such an obvious thing. Camacho must keep one of the best off-roaders in the game. It doesn't. It doesn't have the speed of the Vagrant, but it has almost the speed of the Vagrant, and it doesn't bite you as often. So I'm, I'm actually, if I was in an off-road race where I'm not using the motorcycle, this is probably I probably take this over the Vagrant. It's just that good. All right, but what do I want to take now? The Futo. Let's take Slip Dido here. Um, let's see. Closest next to garage. Do I need to do the time warp again, or do we just kind of cruise around in the Fudo? Looking at the map, it's almost certainly the the the, um, the auto shop. That's the next one in line. Let's Futo our way to the auto shop, and then we'll change cars. Futo. Don't be discouraged. The man ain't so hard to understand. It's got a good top end, too, the Futo. It's not, like, supercar fast, but... But you could do stuff like that. I'm just enjoying the Futo right now. Almost touched it, not quite. Well, not probable, but certainly possible. Ooh. Didn't quite slide it the way I intended to, to go, but we'll get there. And then after this, we'll send it back to the parking garage. But what do we have in here? Here in the auto shop. These are all newer cars, obviously. I think they're all tuners. Oh look, we can we can do some of this. Hey, hey, surface it, resplay, resplay, rolled steel, performance upgrades, brakes. No, it doesn't want brakes. Sports transmission, turbo tuning, street suspension. Lower just enough for the street. Bodywork, front bumpers, primary splitter and canards, hood, secondary hood fins, rear bumpers, secondary diffuser. Since the secondary and the primary are the same color, it doesn't really matter. Wheels, tuner. Apex. You've been standing around doing absolutely nothing until I got here. Okay, item fitted. So what do the Apex oh, those look like? And the blue goes well enough. I'm not going to go crazy at that. Although, if you... um, I did have one luck once. The alloy matches pretty nicely there. Where I changed the, the wheel thing, I got a bonus. Confirm, modify it for fifty thousand, and have the staff delivered. Because I'm not, I'm not doing that today. I'll get the fifty thousand back, plus a little bit more. Same with this one. Service the vehicle, respray it. Carbon black, right there. Performance upgrades. It wants better brakes. Wants a better transmission. And the turbo. Leaving the stance alone, bodywork, exhaust, 
planted dual, grill, chrome, vertical, air filters, secondary triple, wheels, on the wheel, wheel type, SUV wheels, that, that'll work great, it's supernova. There you go, supernova wheels. I guess it doesn't look too bad. Confirm it, confirm it. Staff, take that car. And they're both going to smash the crap out of them because they're terrible drivers. But I don't care. Now, back to the tour. So here we have the vector that we won. Slammed into the ground. And upgraded. And yeah, it did put a ducktail on this, I think. You got the green anaconda. Prevy on here. Which, this is, this is a car that I won and then made look like the other Prevy and then I had. Cypher. Still trying to figure out how to get you know the old app to work so I can get the darn white wheels because this this one was up on the truck had white wheels and then you win it in their alloy because they're stock and that's a thing so it would look so much better with the white stock wheels but I, did, and I could put white wheels that are similar on it but then it wouldn't be the stock I would try I still get that glitch working again but the app you used to be able to change the color of stock wheels using the old you know phone app. Uh, but the iFruit app, but then now the iFruit app just doesn't work anymore. I don't know what the hell happened to it. So it just doesn't, you can't, you can't get plates anymore. So I don't, I don't know what they're doing. And, uh, of course, you know, your Sultan RS, this is a keeper. It's a nice car. I like this car. It, it's a little bit twitchy, but it, it's good. You know, street races, it's like there's such, such 90 to return point and shoot kind of things. You're better off with the Calico, but this is a nice car. I'm better off the Calico. And, of course, we have, a, you know, a Tofu car. You know, the R, the uh, Fudo RS or whatever it's called, or R something. Like it. Gotta keep it. The weird transparent hood is weird. Best muscle car in the game right now. Gotta love this. Gotta love the ASP. Or the, the um, Dominator Mamba. As it should have been called. Of course, they screwed that up and they made the Mama to Class A because it's an alternate universe kind of thing. So I guess the ASP is reasonable. The ASP. It's the Cobra. Won this sucker. Added the back uh, windows uh, things just so for more... Because that makes you bulletproof for the most part from the rear. The ZR350. Oh. This is the original car. The original one you could win. This is the first one, the Remus. It is a terrible car, really, as far as driving, but it's not fast. Not terrible as far as driving, but it's not a fast car. But it is the first one you could win, the first one you could get. And we did get that. And the Calico, the Killer Calico. This is the one I do most of my racing with, so that's another keeper. So we're not getting, gaining a lot of room here, although I think we have a spot. There is one empty. We have a spot here. So this is this was where my one spot was, up in the corner. And we're just going to uh, leave that as it is. Oh, we need to take a car here. What are we going to take? Hmm. Let's take the... Let's take the Vector. I was going to take the Green Anaconda, but... The Vector does... It's grippy. Is the complete opposite of the Fudo that I just left. And it, it, it goes in a very nice progression from one to another. If it wasn't so close, then I'd, I'd, I'd break the stream here and just, you know, time warp again. But hey, it's right there. Stopped it before I tried to go in. Because this doesn't have any room, as I recall. None of them. The none of them. Workshop level. Workshop level is where most of the weird is. Oh, that's weird. Didn't want to 
I'm gonna go there. Okay, what we have here. What the heck is that? What did I buy? A jugular. I own a jugular? Really? Okay, I completely forgot about this car. You can see it. I must have gotten it on a sale. It's in its default blue. I might have given it upgrades just in case I ever wanted to race it. Did I do stuff with this? Is there a video about this? You know, because it's got custom fenders. I just left it blue to be blue. I didn't know where I was going with the paint on this. All right, we have a jugular. That's that's good. I haven't done enough with it to say whether I want to keep it or not. Obviously, we're going to keep it for now. And you got the tanky do here. That's with all of its upscale paint. And oh uh, yeah, we got uh, the Spartan Mini here. We gotta love that. What do we call it? We gave it a funky name. We need Future Shock. You see, it has a name though. Let me look at the what you call it. It'll come up. Matter of fact, let's do that. Where's the, the vehicle management? We'll, we'll take a look at everything. That's, I think, I just called the last V8. It's just a uh, a rusted out version of the last V8. Does this have the tanks on the back? It's this stuff. Yeah, there you go. Extra gas tanks. Oh, I gotta love your Cerberuses. It's gotta have multiple Cerberuses. Spartan van. You know, this is an expensive car, and I never drive it. And I could probably let them. I'm not going to. It is one of the best for racing. But slide that rear end is like it's got it's on coasters, man. It's just unbelievable. And the you know the space cowboy kind of stuff. The Dominator. All these done up in in Mid Valley Spartan colors. We're getting these about the time I was on the board, I think. Still on the board. Not build a Spartan Foundation. Which, if you go to buildaspartan.com, you can uh, buildaspartan.org. Donate today. It helps the kids. Let's take a look at the actual. Not the yeah. There we go. access to vehicle the decoy. <laughs> That's the thing is that people just kind of go after that. The Brutus 300 for referencing the 300. You know, this is Sparta. The King Leonidas. Which that must be the, uh, that's why I named the the 4x4. The Spartan, just a simple The Spartan. The Space Cowboy, that's all. I'm a Space Cowboy, because they wear the cowboy hat. It all makes sense. All business, no pleasure there. It's all just rusty, bland. That, the last V8. As it should be named. The Xyphos. That's a short that's a Spartan short sword. Future Chuck Scarab doesn't really have a personality yet. We have to give that a name. At some point. I have it. I have, I have it. It's it's ready to roll. I think it's fully tricked out, but I don't I haven't given it a personality yet. Jugular. Yeah, obviously. Everybody on the line I got a jugular. And the on kinda says it all there, but at least I have one. It's, to use that. I don't even know what that is. That's in sports? I guess I have a jugular. Okay. I have a T-Gun! I was just thinking the other day, you know, I really should have gotten a T-Gun, and apparently I did. Wow, that it looks like I haven't done much with it either, so we have to do something with this T-Gun at some point. There'll be a separate video on that if we do that. Now this, this Impaler, you know, you notice it's not a custom Impaler, it's just a regular Impaler. But this is painted up to be just like my uh, my grandfather's Impala that he had back in the day. I didn't put a spoiler on this, which is impressive. I think I've raced this once and it won. It was on Duel. So that's a sentimental favorite. We got the Christmassy kind of, you know, it's like red and like a dark green kind of Tempesta. This might come out during the, you know, if I start making Christmas videos where I'm racing stuff again, that might be the one of the ones that gets used. 
you gotta like the 190Z. It's just, you know, again, not the greatest. But it looks cool. It drives cool. You kind of have one. And it has all these neat customizations. The Casco. I think I was getting the Casco. I was trying to get that one achievement. You need to buy a Casco. The Casco is nice. Forgot I had a Casco. A lot of these things. This is like the... the I've forgotten so many cars. Now this. This is what I usually actually take out. We'll look at the name on that one when we, we do it. This is the one. I, this is the Cerberus that I actually use, as opposed to the decoy. Usually, this is this one's. Can you tell I like the Cerberus? I mean, this is millions of dollars, and I have a couple of them. This is the long-term project, as I recall. Because I really hadn't come up with a plan for this. Was I going to trick it out? I like the fenders the way they are, so I don't even put the guns on it. It's not really something I'm going to use in. In an actual race, it's just there, and I like having it. It's very much a Rusty Jack project car, kind of fits the theme sort of thing, which I, I need more of those now that I've gotten rid of a couple. I'm going to get rid of more, but not that one. This is just psychotic. I had to get at least one. I, this I think it might be the only psychotic nightmare one I have. What does it say there? Orange Otang. Okay. Oh, I get it. Orangutan. Huh. Orangutan. I got it. Orange Otang. Orangutan. That's funny. What did I name this one? It's got a cool name too. That's a good one to take in for, for a race too because it is very it's very hard to mess with it. It's very, very balanced and everything like that. Rusty Hustler. You gotta have a Rusty Hustler. I like that car. It's a very very out from the desert kind of look to it and it's perfect for Rusty Jack. So let's take a look at the names. Where is the, the little name bloop thingy? The Phalanx! There you go. That's I knew it had a cool name. The GT500. Not a Casco. It's a GT500. Well, where the hell? Do I, don't I have a Casco? Why do I have a GT500? Alright, now that makes any sense to me. I don't remember getting a GT500. Okay, I thought it was the Casco. We have the Casco someplace, I thought. Tempesta, obviously. Tigon, Future Shock Impaler, 190, Mater's Cousin, there you go, I gave it, I did give it a name, it was a long-term project for a little while, Hustler, The Crewmate, oh, that's right, it's The Crewmate, cause it's all done up in Crew Blue, and that was during, during that brief period of time when that was funny, because Among Us was a thing, that's really died off, hasn't it, and hey, Nightmare Scarab needs a name, we'll have to, have to give that something, it's, and do something with it. So how's this going? Is this holding your attention so far? Looking at all my wheels and I'm talking about the cars and why they're meaningful or not, or what the hell was this and why do I even have that? Sales. Comes down to what goes on sale. This is, of course, the new specially bulletproof Kuruma. The glitched bulletproof Kuruma, which does affect the it looks like it affects the, the ones in missions. The uh, the NPCs get bulletproof Kurumas too. You have to blow those up. So I like this car. I like it a lot. Keeping that even when it's no longer bulletproof. Got this lovely Hikachu drag. I might have. To, I think I have to, to tweak up the paint job. I don't have a perfect Ron livery on those. It's not the, quite the right paint mix, but it's close enough, and it's, it's, it looks nice. Now uh, this Saab, it's it's heavily customized, but this is what I like to imagine happened to my friend Derek Buffington Saab that we used to have he used to have back in the nineties. It was a. Uh, he had a gray one just like that. Didn't have all the orange on it. And it certainly didn't have the turbos like that. It might have been a turbo, but I don't think it didn't have giant through the hood turbos. Not many of them do. And there we go. We got some money out of that. I think we got the money back and then we got just some money there. So Ah, here's one of the tuners that wasn't in the other garage. The Jester RR. I like the Jester RR. It handles nice. It drives nice. Not really on the pace, but it, it's a car I like. This one might have been. I think I won this one and then just gave it a blue paint. This was really white. Yeah, this was this was one that I, I went through hours of driving and, and kept. So that's a keeper. Not getting rid of that. And I won this veto. 
which is good because now you can actually put you know have you know races now with these they you know people can make their own custom tracks now rockstar didn't give you a track to race it on but if you want to if you're into that go ahead you know it's, so we'll keep that oh this is the um yeah the, the, the tailgate rs i think i did i win this or did i buy this i'm gonna buy it i don't know something I kept it plain. The tailgaters lend themselves to that sleeper look. I mean, I can trick this out, but it doesn't feel right to me. I feel like this is the kind of car you, when you're you going out on a good date. You pick her up in this. And, you know, notwithstanding what Top Gear said about Audis, you know, it's still... Well, we won't go there. We're just going <laughs> to... And, of course, now we have our American fun. This is our... Our uh, Yuga Classic 4x4, which was featured prominently in 4th of July videos and near 4th of July videos. There's a really cool interior in this one. I, I don't think I can... I can't pop the doors open unless I pull it out. But we might be pulling this one out anyway. That's probably what we're going to leave in. And another tuner. Here's my, my GTT. With the George Fulmer paint job. George Fulmer, awesome race car driver. I won this one. This is another one. Where I, what am I doing with the paint on this? My God, this is how it came off the wheel. Like Rockstar, what what are you doing to people? This is just my Rebla. The Rebel is why I had. It took the last space, so that's why we don't have anything there. Let us drive out of here now. There's no space. There, I mean, there's spaces for for the Cerberus, so I want to get another Cerberus, and someday I might. I might do that just to get all the Cerberuses, because I do like the Cerberuses. But it'd be like six, seven million dollars. So, eh, not immediate. It matches my clothes. And we'll, we'll pop the, the doors here, just because in case you didn't see those other those other uh, videos. Although, let's be honest, if you're watching this, you probably watched the other videos. <laughs> so we have, you know, we got some some tiger print going in here. It's done in the same kind of blue that my um, my original blue um, regal was done. You'll still get to see that in the next video I do of garage tours. That's going to be a thing. But I do have a, a replica of my old Buick Regal in the game. But there I went with the I went with the bed and the stereo and the TV. It's a place to snuggle in and relax. And this is going to be, I think, I think what I may do is keep this as my main car and then go change my spawn back to the LS Customs. I can still get LS Customs login daily kind of things. But then I'll just be living out of the back of this. And that's 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 a comfy place to be. Hey, look, there's my little car. It's already back on the street. Isn't that nice? Uh, let's close this up so we don't pull the doors off when we drive. Vehicle doors, done. Where to next? Oh, obviously down here. A few garages. I still can't believe I have a GT500 and a Jugular. I, I don't, no memory of those whatsoever. It's funny how something, I mean, that means they'll be get, I'll be getting rid of them at some point because they're just not significant. I guess the game wanted to give you that little, pro oh, here we are flying. We're floating or we're... Okay, I was going to do the jump. I would have to slaughter people there to do that. I really... I don't like hitting NPCs. I really don't. Okay, we can make this one jump. Will it land? With a little help! Yes, it did! Ping. Okay, we're not gonna. We're just gonna pull this off to the side here. 
Let's look at the, the, the standalone garage first, before we go into the whole nightclub thing. The nightclub thing is a thing. All right. So you got a tires. You can have a tires. I love the look of this car. I love the paint job on it. I love everything about the tires. Hardly ever drive it, but we're still going to keep that there. This, of course, now this, this, you know, the, what the heck did he even call this particular Dukes? The Rusty Dukes, the Wrecked Dukes, the Custom Dukes. This is painted green because if you if you watch them, the old, I think it's like the second episode of the Dukes of Hazard. They have they took the the first uh, General Lee, which did that huge did the huge jump in the first uh, episode of Dukes of Hazard, and then uh, of course that they beat the crap out of that on the way down. It got that got wrecked, so they painted it green and gave it like a, a like a paint job like this, like it was an old beat up race car that the Duke boys were buying, and they're towing it with the second General Lee. So it's the first General Lee being towed by the second General, but this is the General Lee in that second episode. I think it was like number 77 but it was that dark green and if you go on vin wiki you can find out what happened to it there's you know a guy went through and he found it original generally in the green and he's restored it to uh full generally glory so like it was when it was in the first episode and a lot of people gave him grief because it's like well that did you you ruined the historicity of it but uh you know hey he said you could have bought it for 350 bucks so you know hey you could have saved it so this is my my homage to that that original General Lee as it was a wrecked green race car. And I, I I I like this. I keep this just to, you know just to haves. This was on sale. It looks cool. We'll keep it. I'm not gonna likely race. I could race this, but it's not gonna do well. But I mean, it's 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 funky enough for me that it's 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 not like the other bike. The Nemesis was boring. This this has my attention. It's customizable enough. I like it. What the hell even is it called? That's a oh, it's an FC Pegasi FCR one thousand. There you go. So it's hopefully I still have my van outside, but I'll call it up otherwise. I could see getting rid of this because it's yes, it's cool. It's got a cool paint job. Is this the tulip? That's the Vamos. The Vamos is terrible to drive. It's terrible. It's all over the place. It is a Nova. I like having a Chevy Nova with a 396. You know, I'll paint the thing black at some point. My, my, my one cousin had a black 396 Nova. Does that recall? Popped out of gear and rolled down a hill and smashed the ever-living rear round out of it on a telephone pole. I, I think he might, that might have totaled it. And we got the 10-minute car. Of course, you got to have that. You know, it's a Jester Classic. Comet Retro, I never drive this. Like, ever. It's there to look cool. I loved Porsches as a kid. I, I like Porsches now, but, you know, if you said, hey, we're going to give you this car to drive, I'd probably say, oh, well, that's that's great. I'm going to die, because they did be a little bit touchy. But, you know, that's their reputation. Maybe they're not really all that touchy, but... I'm glad to have it. I mean, it's, it's not... A must keep. It's not one I want to get rid of anytime soon. So that's where that's where that's at. Obviously, you know you gotta have a donk. You gotta have a faction donk. Captain's log. Star date. Thick man size. <laughs> this is so wrong. The creamy Siemens. Fit. They're so bad. They really are just so bad. Wraps your lips around. Yeah, but you gotta have a donk just for with a creamy filling. <coughs> Now, this faction, this is another homage. I, like I said, I had the, the faction from when I was a kid in my other account. This was my grandfather's. He had one that was, you know, obviously wasn't a GTX or GNX or... It wasn't a, it wasn't a high-performance one. It was actually a very low-performance one. Now, it was mine was a V6. This one was a V8, but it was a V8 that almost never ran well. And Pop let me drive the good car. That's how Pop was. God rest him. But they had this kind of cut paint. It wasn't it wasn't as shiny, but it was this paint. It was this interior. I drove it every so often, and I forget whether did he hit something with it. And then we put the front end back together, Dad and I did. And the headlights were just jazzed on that. We never did get them aligned, so they were they were aligned too high. 
so that you had the the low beams were high beams, and the high beams were for whatever strange reason way higher and aimed right into the person's face. Like they were, it was like if you were going to set high beams up, say so they were focused right into the, the the windshield of the oncoming car. That's I, I don't even know how that happened, but it wasn't intentional. But it'd be great because you'd be driving down the road with your low beams on, and people would flash their high beams at you because they think you have your high beams on, and then you would flash your high beams back, and then you would just go into a ditch. You know, like yeah, you just see them flinch. I never never did wreck anybody with it, but that car was that car was hilarious. Um, and it ran very badly. It had 302, but it ran very badly. Never did get that tuned up properly. But eventually got rid of it. Didn't have the T-tops either, but... I have this car in honor of that car, because it was another, it's still another good memory of my childhood. And of course, you have to have a voodoo that looks just like the voodoos from, you know, GTA Vice City. So it's... You gotta have that. I like this car. I like it a lot. It's simple. It's not overdone. It's just nice. Same with this Primo. I, I like I like the cut the Primo custom. It's you know this is another car I could just see myself cruising. This makes me want to buy one. This makes me want to buy a '90s Cadillac when I see this. I think you know that's probably really comfortable. It'll probably run good. That was back before things got overly complicated. I probably wouldn't put the glass in the the, the hood. But I mean this is a nice, you know. I don't know that I could invest enough to trick something out this well. But I mean this is this is a nice car. I'm going to keep that one. And we've gone completely around again. So let's go out here. Do -do. Is the van still there? Yeah, the van's still there. Okay, we didn't pull out in anything, so it didn't get reset. Let's go into... Basement level one is the... Yeah, well, let's look at everything. What the hell? We'll look at everything. So I'm looking at maybe repainting these again. These, this was I, I made them all chrome sickle. That's when I was on the the Bruffy 13 uh, 32 crew there, the scumbags. I had that as the crew paint, so I did the chrome crew, orange and and chrome. But I tell you, what, it's much drabber than the the uh, when I do the blue crew, the you know my blue crew. So I don't know if I'm keeping that, but I did do the 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 the, the orange and toothpaste look here on this one. These you can't really do a whole lot of secondary, you know, you can't change the wheels up or anything like that. But they got the chrome sickle look to them. I don't put the scoops on them because they tend to, to hang up on curbs and stuff like that. And I don't think you gain any benefit from the scopes. They they ram stuff out of the way the same as as anything. It doesn't matter. So we go here, go down to basement level two. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Is this fine? Is this at all interesting? Does this give you another one of my videos where it has zero watches until I, I watch it at some point? Well, it makes me feel good to have these recorded. Because then, if you know, you know, someday I know that these garages are not going to exist and I'll have, like, well, here's what my cars were and I can look at them. It makes me happy. I'm a sound male fool. Scram jet, I, you know, I forget how I came across this particular paint combo. I was looking through, I just loved it. I just love that green with the flames. So there's my scram jet. We got another rusty Yosemite, but this is a drift. I forget which YouTuber I, saw, I heard say Yosemite. I thought it was hilarious. It's Yosemite, but the Yosemite drift, but you know. I did find out, by the way, because I, I do work with some people. One of my customers is out in Utah. And there is a Yosemite Utah, and they say it Yosemite. So there, there is that. That's an interesting thing. But Yosemite. Yosemite Drift, here it is. It's done up rusty, as Rusty Jack would have it. I forget how I picked the color scheme, but that seems to work. So there we got Twin Turbo Yosemite Drift. Man, where would I be without this car? This car, this Krieger, man, it's just it's just my mainstay of, of any time that I go into a, a Supers race, this is it. And I realize that I have an Emerus. The Emerus just stays parked. Because this is just so consistent and so so good to drive. I just want to kiss this car. Mwah. Love you. 
And we've got, is this, was this another thing where we had two of these? Wasn't there another one up in the, yeah, there is. I got two of these. Yeah, two Tauros. I have another Tauros. Why do I have two Tauros? They must have been free or something. Or two different sales. I could see getting rid of a Tauros. But on the other hand, the paint jobs are good on both of them. Uh, I gotta think about that. Do I need two Tauroses? Nine one one, my eight one one. I love the paint job on this. This this kind of muted gray blue is kind of blue and brown. Very, it makes you think duck somehow. I don't know. It's just you know, or some kind of bird. I love this eight one one. Again, there's really no use in the game for an eight one one. But you know, because if you're on a, if you're gonna do a race that needs top speed, you take your devastate and you still have some cornering capabilities. This is just all over the place. But it looks beautiful, and I like it. That's probably why I kept the other Tauros, because I just like both paint jobs. We'll, we'll take a closer look at the other one at some point. But, Fister Neon, you can't really do a whole lot with the paint on this, but it is a neat car to drive. I have had zero success with my other one, as far as racing. I always end up racing it in, like, when I'm, I'm on a Bruffy stream, and they, they go to a B Sports... I think, well, the acceleration might help me out. And I am just bouncing off the walls constantly. So it's... Oh! I love the paint job on this. Look at this. How the, look over the hood of the blue of my Stromberg. It's just lovely. Very... This was when I was really sticky. I might, I might do this up as some kind of difference for a Spy Hunter at some point. But... Does it have a Spy Hunter plate? No, it doesn't. Custom, uh, custom insurgent pickup. Gotta have one. It's, it's the law. They're I don't use this nearly enough. And this thing can drop. This it can drop mines. How do I not use this all the time? It's just really great. Oh, another good one here. Yes, I'm having a brain fart. We have to look. Night shark. Why can't I think I say night shark? Seventeen different. That's not like something exploded when it started up. You gotta have a night shark. And an armored Kruma. You, it's the law. You have to have an armored Kruma. And if the other Kruma becomes unarmored, then this thing comes right back to the forefront. Two Tauroses. That'd be a lot of money. Unless I got them for free. Or something like that. It's probably something like that. Where it's not worth getting rid of them. Because you have to... I mean, it's worth it for a parking space if you need it. All right, this was my entirely blue and white area until I, I, I chrome sickled the uh, the old white uh, Patriot stretch. So there's the Patriot stretch chrome sickled. I did that at the same time as I did the other ones, and this was the vehicle I was living in down while I was you know spawning in the LS uh, car show. Still not a bad choice. More room. <sighs> More room than the other truck, but this is my tulip. I like the tulip. You gotta like a tulip. This is again very reminiscent of one of the cars driven by uh, my uncle Bill. It, it, his wasn't done up in Spartan colors, and his was a two door, as I recall. Yeah, two-door Chevelle. This is kind of Chevelle-like, but not quite. It's more Malibu, but it's got Chevelle elements to it. So the back is very Chevelle. So it's uh, that kind of thing. I got my blue coquettes. I'm blue, da bo dee da bo die da bo dee da bo die da bo dee da bo die That's all why. That's why they're blue. So I got two coquettes. They're nice. A black fin and a regular. The white penetrator. It came white. I decided that I had to keep it white. It just looks nice that way. It's just this is creamy. This is the Captain America Tally RSX that I won off the wheel, and I don't think I've done much with it. Probably, maybe it's been upgraded so you can race it. Doesn't have? I don't think it has a spoiler. I don't know. Does or this one have the automatic spoiler? There's a little thing there, so maybe we're okay with that. 
the Captain America Italia arc says. This is, you know, the, the rampant rocket. So far, again, nothing in here that I intend to get rid of. Utterly, utterly useless bike. But it's funky, so you gotta keep it. Presser Mark 1. The original griefer tool that got completely obsolete and, you know, how can you not have Street Hawk? You gotta have Street Hawk. So I have my own little Street Hawk here. Check the front. It's the Thrax. This is the car I should be driving more. Because it really is very good. It's, you know, but then it all goes back to that car, you know, the the uh, the Krieger. You know, why would I take the, the Thrax when I've got the Krieger? And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a keeper. You gotta have a Thrax. And a Vaca. How can you not have a blue Vaca? This is, I believe, my homage to the Prostitute's Lamborghini. Again, you have to check out... Google the, the Prostitute's Lamborghini Wikipedia. You know, you know, uh, VinWiki, rather. Do the VinWiki Prostitute's... That's a great story. The story of the Prostitute's you know, Lamborghini. Ed Bullion just knows how to tell stories. He just does. And make shrewd decisions buying cars. All right, now this is the everything has been jacked off the street garage. So everything here is one of those rare vehicles that show up that are worth something, and you can get you can jack them off the street and keep them. This is, I think with a, with a few, like I have the other lifeguard, you know, the, the motorcycle, but this is one of the few things where it's like yes, it's a a public service vehicle that you can keep. We've got both of the cars that are so difficult to get to spawn. The Dubsta 2s. we got a pair of Dubsta 2s. And I can take this out and I can park it up the street and I can get more of them and sell them and make money, but there's better ways of making money, so I just have two Dubsta 2s. I don't have a Dubsta 2 on my other character. This is the only time I've ever pulled it off, was in this character. I, I have an homage to trying another one that's like half gold, half silver, half chrome. But these are my only Dubsta 2s. I have one of each. Uh, again, this is a custom rat truck or rat rod. It's one. Is it a truck or the rod? Is it the rod or the truck? It's a truck. Rat loader. Okay, that's... So, rat loader. That's another one you can pull off the street. And it's kind of hot rod and, and rare. I've got the... Um, is it the Vagos in the green or are they in the purple? I got one, one of the gangsta mananas here. Is that, is that a regular or a custom? It's just a, it's just a regular, but it's been tricked out as much as you can do a regular mananya. That's the course. You've seen this all over the place. It's the, the Phoenix, the, the Limonade Phoenix here. Gotta have a Limonade Phoenix. And here's both of... The XLs, the the hyper expensive. How you can make money, you know, just grabbing these off the street. You gotta have one of them. You gotta get an XL to make them spawn. But then you can just turn these in for Boku bucks. Uh, I kept one of each for sentimentality, really. This is just all sentimental, rare. Oh look, I got it. It's rare. You can grab. Are any of them insured? Are they insured? I think they're all insured. Sand kings are so big you can't even see. Insured, insured. Insured, insured, insured. I can get them back. Insured, insured. Okay. So you've checked the insurance on all these, and it's all good. And we go. Let's exit the way. Oh, no. We got to go to the terabyte garage. You have to see the terabyte. You have to. I said so. There it is. Really, really Im an important vehicle to have. It has so many uses. Making money was one of them. I don't mind the terabyte missions. I really don't. I hardly ever do them. Oh, you know what? We have to go in just to see the uh, Deluxo. There's one more car. You have to go into the Enter Your Nightclub. I thought we were going to do anything with the nightclub, but you have to see the Deluxo. What if this is your first video and you don't know any of my cars? You just happen to like 
garage tours and you like looking at customized GTA cars and this, this is what hey we're we're here for you and there she is now I have two one deluxe on each character the first one's done up like the original Back to the Future one and this one we put of course the 50s wheels on it so that it looks like oh thanks for finally the lights coming on so it looks like the one from Back to the Future you know part two and three So we're, we're good there. Normally I would drive out in that because it would get me around a little quicker, but we're going to try and stick with the van. I think by the time I get done with this, I'll be able to sell my, uh, sell my bunker. Because I did have... Yeah, we don't really need the... The line for this one. Because I did have some time out from when I was making the 4th of July stuff. Woo! Take the back. Oh, we, we missed the turn for the back road. We're taking the back road in. I'm trying to teach myself to use this line a little bit more. I always forget about it. One of my oldest garages. Now, oftentimes, the place I put the most forgotten stuff. So here we go. I do have a Paragon R. Son of a gun. See, aren't we glad that we did this effort? So that just saved me a good half a million. All right. So we have a Paragon R on this, this character. Excellent. And of course, you need a Monroe. And you have to say it like your Ted Knight. Here is the car that I got from uh, doing the Dave missions here. Dave's car. I tricked it out a little bit. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I kept I kept the love page up, so I know that's the car I got from doing the missions. You gotta have a Zentorno. I mean, you just do. I like the paint job on this too. That was good. Another hustler. You can't really have too and too many hustlers. I love this. Is another Matchbox homage. I had one like this. It was a flat. It was a black with the flames. I love the flat, that matte. You know, the texture on this. You could just feel. Ooh, just want to snuggle that car. Okay, this is the uh, my Continental here from the the BB King kind of Eric Clapton. You know, my Chino custom. I couldn't think of Chino there. I was thinking of the Lincoln Continental. I don't know if it's, it might be a Cadillac in the Riding with the King uh, cover, but this is this is as close as I can make a car that looks like that. This, of course, my Frankenstange, which is not very Halloween-y. I said just kind of tied it in with the purple. So it's not too hot, but I like it more because of that. You know, I'm not a big Halloween guy anyway, but I love the paint job on this. That's a keep. Same thing with this Frankenstange. This is the, the Lurcher my, that goes with the Frankenstange. There's still a dead guy in the back. There's not much you can do about that. But I, this has been stripped of most of its Halloweeniness. It just kind of looks looks formal. It looks good. And of course, you got to have if you're gonna if Rusty Jack's gonna have a, uh, a, a custom slam van, you got to have a Rusty custom slam van. That's that's fully functional, fully upgraded. And this this Ruggiero is interesting because it, it was an interesting thing. I had a car just like this on my other character. And I had to sell it for some reason. He had space. And then what I did was I got another one on this character. And made it just like it. So that it's like I transferred it from one character to another. Which is not actually the case. But So I keep this one for that reason. It's another... I like the Jaros. The Jaros are just good.
And I think now would be a good time to do the time warp again because we really do need to get across town. Just did three garages with the microphone on mute, so I said, ah, just delete it. Interesting. You can go in there. Is there like something hidden in here? I feel like there should be something. A playing card. Something in the weeds. Just trash. Okay. Yep, so that was just a complete waste of time. So we're just going to go in here. We're going to start over. So. Again, go to Bestia. I love the Bestia. This kind of car I think I could drive. I, I, can, I could have one of these if I was a wealthy, wealthy man. Cruising around in something like this would fit in my style. And there'd be a little bit of room in the back for carrying things and going for groceries. But, you know, still... <coughs> a good, good, you know, vacation car for two. I think there's enough room in the back for... It's not a, it's not a plus two, so... Either real one in real life is a plus two, but so that could work. Don't worry, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Love my FMJ. Keeping that, love how the wheels kind of glow. I really do need to drive this one more. I need to do I need to do some more bold choice racing where I'm not using the Krieger. That might be a thing coming up at some point. You, you, actually, you, you know, considering how far out this video is going to be, this is going to be happening in July. Sometime is going to be coming out. I'm, I'm recording it in November. You know, this is in, you know, this is what? The hell thick is the day? The 23rd of November. So, you're talking, it's the 23rd of November. You're not going to see this till July. I might, all this might be different by the time we get there. But probably not. Most of the stuff I'm not, I'm not changing up too much. So, we'll see how it goes. Love my Tropos rally. I'm, I'm sorry, Bruffy, but the, the Tropos is just where it's at. I know you consider it boring, but that's just because it's competent. And it's just, just a good car. And I like this. I, I still love my, my Omnises, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, yeah, I love this Tropos. It's just, just great. Swinger, Swinger's one of those cars where I could take it or leave it. It looks cool. It would drive cool if they would just get rid of the advanced handling flags. Keeping it, of course. You gotta have like a British green roadster. Yeah, how can you not? You know, it's, it's just good. It's just good stuff. T-tops. Sultan RS, probably, I think this might be my only sticker bomb car. And considering how badly things usually go for me if I'm in a Brophy stream, I think the next time their supers are, are done, I'll, I'll pull this one out just for style. See what Mark Verstappen thinks of it. As I recall, he's a huge Sultan guy. It's a, it's a good thing. That's a cool looking car. That's why I keep it. Sylvestra, again, not going to be doing anything for anybody as far as winning anything, but it's, a, it's good looking. I'm keeping it. I love the style. Habanero, I might move this one back to the office. This was originally one of the office cars for, you know, running for errands and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, here, take the Habanero. Um, now that I've got some room up there, I might put it back there just for the sheer role play of it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not doing it right now. you got to have a Banshee 900R, or at least a Banshee. You have to have some kind of Banshee, and why, you might as well have the 900R. I like this. I've done it up like it's one of the original Shelby Coupes. That racing, you know, Daytona style sort of thing here. I like it. We're keeping that. This is probably one of the only custom, uh, you know, Tornados that I actually like. The way it turned out. They always look like the wheels are too small on them for me. And I know that's because they had to put in all the hydraulics and, you know, actuation. You need room. But, and that's probably the official style. But I just... This one, with the, with the way the exhaust comes out, I guess it fills the hole a little bit. The lines on This worked out good. This is one of the... You know, the fact that I actually got a Tornado that I like the look of, probably a little bit because it the, the paint scheme reminds me of the 77 Thunderbird I learned to drive in. That was a fire engine red with white interior and a white top. It was split top. It was like some of it was white, some of it was red. It was a great car. Ended up where it had a couple problems. It was running pretty good. But my dad needed to work out. He put it in uh, the garage at my grandmother's. Didn't realize that at some point, part of that roof actually caved in and just dumped water all right into the engine. And that, that car, when when 
it take him time to pull that car out, we couldn't get it out. We actually had uh, there are people hired. My uncle hired people to clean out the garage when the time came, and they said, "Oh, well, you know, we'll we'll give you a break if you let us have the car." And then there were we we went up at night. And there were six inch deep grooves in the ground from when they dragged that car out. All four wheels were frozen. It was just terrible. And uh, I don't. I think they didn't. They they, they reneged on the brake because it cost them so much to get it out. But they got rid of the car. It was just. It was. It was a sad end. But you know, most cars have sad ends. They they wear out. They go away. And it's special stuff that we. You know, that's why the the ones that you keep or you know, that you see at car shows and stuff are so special because they're survivors. And then you have my. Completely desaturated, you know, LG Retro Custom. It's desaturated. That was just the theme on this. Just desaturated. There's no color to it. It's unique for that, so we'll, we'll run with that. All that stuff's staying. I'm not getting rid of anything here. No, 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 it's raining. Okay, let's get up to the other. Now let me see the outside of the car. It's easier to drive. Right? Wee! It does make to show you how it's raining, how all the colors on this really do pop. So, uh, so does my lag. I say that this is going to be up in July, but I mean, you know what? The truth be told is I'm having so much trouble with Sony Vegas right now, and this is going to have to be stitched together. I don't even feel bad anymore about hitting those cars. Is that, um... Bleh. Oh, you know what we can do? I didn't do this in the last one. It's right here. Let's check out my basement. When I, when I screwed up the video, I didn't do this. and that, This would have been a miss. Because I do own cars here. And it's not in the matter of, what, you know, these are the special vehicle parts. Parking, but you know, it's, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm not talking about the cars that we've I've stored here. We've got some ready to go, but I'm just happy having them here. We run downstairs. See all the kind of must and dust in the air? I like that because it's hardly ever come down here. Boom. So, we have a Blazer, a Blazer Aqua. Again, hardly ever use it, but it does come really in handy when you're doing those custom races. Same thing with the Ruiner. That's a this one is done up completely like kit. I have no striping on it. It's just the Night Industries 2000. Got you know a Rebel Aqua painted like the uh, the one they use in Top Gear. They didn't have the gun in Top Gear, but they would have if they could have. The armored Boxville. These are all vehicles that I would have fun with if I ever used them. I have to start. Stop being. I start to have. I have to start doing more frivolous crap in game. Is what I really need to start doing. I'm going to have any enjoyment, whatsoever. Here's my, my ramp buggy. I have seen people with with you know white phantom wedges. I mean, there's got to be a way of painting this, and white would be the color that of the actual, you know, phantom wedge. The, the uh, not the the black one would be match the dump truck phantom wedge that they did in, in MythBusters. But they later on revisited that with a white semi, and I think we need to get this. Why I don't know if it's possible. Rocket Voltic. Have I done anything with this Rocket Voltic? It's just a plain black Rocket Voltic. That's still stock. I guess get it to get it. I don't know. There's still something. Oh, you know what we need? We need the um the what you call it? The four the big four by four thing. To go to Warstock Cash or Carry. It's old. We'll be down the bottom. The Wastelander. And we've got the, you know, 
we've got the money for it. And we've got the trade price. I just feel like it's going to be on sale at some point. I have a Wastelander drink to pull around with in the other one. So we'll hang on to that. We're going to eventually get a Wastelander. Next time you see this, it'll probably be a Wastelander. I'm not going to do it immediately. That's the last thing left, is the Wastelander. It's a completely pointless vehicle, but it's it's a neat and bouncy pointless vehicle. Thankfully, when I walk out of here, people aren't going to be shooting at me. You know, it's... If you've done blow-up four, you know where I'm going with that. No, I'm leaving my own place. Exit the warehouse. Come on, exit the warehouse. I might have to, at some point, do the time warp again here and then let the game kind of settle down. Again, I have no idea. You know, my goal is to get this uploaded by July. But I don't know. Because, I mean, I'm having a lot of trouble with Sony Vegas. Where it just doesn't... You go to render and it just the computer freezes. And if that's, you know... Between now and July, I'm not likely to replace any parts in my computer. Just so you know. That's, like, not a thing. If it breaks all together, guess what? I'm just going to... Not. It's, that's, I'm going to lose all the... I'm going to be just not gaming. Because I am not right now in a position to, to do anything with that. I'll, I'll check my email. On, I have a laptop, but it is a, it's an i3. It's not going to... I can log into GTA. That's about it. I mean, really in minimum resolution... It is not a PC Master Race laptop. I got it for free. There's friends of ours that gave it to me because it was completely bricked. He said, if you could do something with it, enjoy it. Okay, we have some doubles here, but they're doubles I don't want to... Uh, I did fix it. There's some doubles here. Like, here's your going into the country Brioso Classic. And then you have your, your hardcore... Pole Position Adult Lounge GTA Vice City Homage of a Brioso Classic. I don't want to get rid of either of those because they're just cool. Even if I, I only see them when I come here. Then you got your salt, your your Sentinel Classics. One's completely done up wrong, although it's a wrong blue. I like that blue though. The gasoline green works so well on this. I just leave it that way. I realize it's an imperfect Ron. Alternate universe Ron. There you go. That's just it looks good to me. I, I like it. We're gonna keep that. Then you got, you know, your, what the heck was it? Something kitty from the bubble gum, what you've got. You gotta have. All right, I could probably sell this Sentinel Classic, but I mean, you know, you, it's, I do like it. So why make myself unhappy? I mean, this, the slight clash of the wheels, it's just, it just, it just works. I don't know if this is the one that can get the pillow, right? I don't think it's, I don't have the pillow, so. Um, there's my other Vito, my Vito Classic. You can keep that. You gotta have your. Now that you can race them, that's it's actually useful to have. This is my Virgo that is uh, from Uptown Funk. This is my Bruno Mars car. Uptown Funk you up. Say Uptown Funk you up. And, you know, Julio, get the stretch. That's the stretch. So it's, it's not a stretch, but it's long. So I I would buy one of these cars. I would take one. I would drive one of these to work. It's a cruise on the big old floaty kind of big engine. Okay, and tell we're gonna stop here for story time. Not this car, but when I was when I was a kid, uh my uncle Butch got arrested, he was a mechanic. He had a, a four fifty five that he was gonna put into a Cadillac of his own. And you know, it was one of those with the slant back. I think it's a Seville, I can't remember exactly what they were. But you know, we're going back a long ways here. And either it wouldn't fit or before he got the chance to put it in his mom had an Oldsmobile Delta 88 diesel, which was a big, heavy, floaty car. And uh, something went wrong with the engine and that, and he had to pull the motor. It needed a motor, so he put the 455 in. He converted it to gasoline. 
So it was a gas 455 hooked up to the drivetrain of the diesel, which was all geared for a diesel. So this thing was a monster. You could just, you put your foot on this, and it would just spin the tires for days. And it would just, the speedometer was like off by a factor of 50%. Like if you said you were doing 30, you were doing 60. And uh, it would just, it, there was no point to think. But it would just haul. And get, you could just watch the gas gauge go down. It was just, oh, it would blow gas out through that thing. It was, it was, it was that color interior and the same color exterior. It was this maroon beast of a machine. I remember driving it. And it was great because it was silly. I mean, the thing, had, it absolutely floated like it was on water. It was like, it had all the, all the stability of a, of the, you know, a, a, a jelly on a plate. But it was just powerful and nuts. And we ended up, um, Pennsylvania eventually passed emissions regulations, and the car wouldn't, wouldn't pass anything. And, uh, I don't know, now you might be able to get away with it because it's, like, older than a certain amount, and this, but whatever, for whatever reason, we could not legally register this. We could not legally get inspected at the time. So, we ended up, it sat for a long time, and... We sold the car on eBay to a guy who needed the engine for a 442 project. An old 442. And uh, we went up so we, to check the car out so he could take it. And sat along. All the brake lines had rusted out. And me and Dad had to, we were laying on the ground changing all the brake lines. And he took the car and he got pulled over because he had no taillights. Because what we, we didn't realize is while the car was sitting, someone had stolen all the fuses out of it. Now, why don't you steal car fuses? Doesn't make any sense. They're cheap. Why would you commit the sin? But at any rate, uh, so that I think car, that car had a happy ending at some point, where it would, the, the motor at least ended up <coughs> in something cool at that car show someplace. Got my Ron Zarusso, and yes, I will defend to the death the fact that I put the roof on it because I think it looks cooler. Now, normally when I have an option of uh, of going topless with these cars, I take it. Because you can see a little bit better. But like sometimes you just want a coupe. Like my, my Banshee 900R on this character is a coupe. My other one a, is a, a speedster. This is a, you know, everyone usually has it as a speedster. I think it looks a little bit better. There's a better flow to it as a coupe. So, you know, with the top on. So that's how I have it and that's how I'm going to keep it. You have to have a T20. This one's done up in the Spartan colors. It's the law. You have to have one. You do. Trust me. Now, I got this, this is an Italian GTB Custom. And I got this one on this account, one on the other account. I have a, a regular one and a custom one. And I'm trying to figure out what what the hoopla is about. Because there's a lot of hoopla with these. You know, you, you, if you watch Ruffy1322, he goes on about the, the GTBs. He prefers the regular one. Um, but I still haven't, like, I love the way they look. I love the, the customization of Don these, and that's why I'm keeping them. But... I, I haven't I haven't found the hoopla, the hoopla. I haven't it just it hasn't connected with me yet. So we'll see how long I keep looking for the hoopla. Uh, I do get the hoopla on this though, on the Felter. It is a nice car, and I love the paint job I did on this. This is just I realize I didn't like actually paint it. it just you hit buttons, yeah. But I mean I love the way that turned out, the blue and orange, and so which is kind of the theme on this character. Don't know if you picked that up. I forget what my my thought process on the orange was very much like Trevor. He has an orange theme because he's been... I, I always connect it that he's coming out of the desert. And this this guy is a similar... He's out of Polito. He's out of the desert area. Like, he's up on that end of the map in my mind. You know, he's a, you know, a desert California, you know, racer and son of a mechanic and a, and a biker. I can never remember... Which was, I decided to make the biker. The dad or the... One of them was like a mechanic. The other one was a race car driver and a biker. There's something like that. and That's what his parents were supposed to be. But it's a video game, so you really are you're just making the character. You know, he's... But don't tell him. Don't tell him. Okay, so here we have an interesting garage. Yeah, you got yourself... Some very Rolls Royce kind of what do they call this damn thing? Oh, the Stafford. Yeah, they're only very English. Love it in white. Very kind of boss hog feel to it. Oh, he drove a Cadillac. 
Oh, you gotta like a White Stafford. Now you got, you know, this is another hateful machine. You got an F620, and it's got the hateful plate. I did this in Ruffy Crew Orange, but it's the Chrome Crew Glitch. So it's this is the original chrome sickle, which I turned out better on this on, on some of the other ones. It looks more dingy on the other cars I put it on, but this, I I like the chrome sickle. This is the chrome sickle's just an important vehicle to have here. And I, this is going to end up in a bruffy stream at some point. I'm going to bring this out, just just to annoy. Well, that's that's going to be a thing. I'll be one other thing. What is this? It's not the standard annoying thing. Like normally what people do is they just chrome it, straight up chrome them, and they put the pink dollar rims on them and put pink headlights. No, I, I, I kept this one. I like this as it is. You have to have a Sultan. I got a purple one. Just a regular Sultan. I like it. Parked next to my Infernus Classic. This is beautiful purple Infernus Classic. I love the Infernus Classic. It's a really great car. I, I guess I got on kind of a purple kick for a little while. And here we have the... What the hell is it called? Get in the car. The Caracara. The Caracara off-road with the 6x6 and the gun. I don't know why it needed the gun, but who doesn't like a gun, I guess. So that's fine. The Weasel News. Do I dump the Weasel News? You know... I think we want to dump the Weasel News because we can get the uh, we can get this all the time, but now you can get the bug, the bug burrito one for free. Maybe if I don't, maybe if I have enough spots and I don't need to get rid of this, just to have the Weasel News, just to get us to grab off the street. This is another grab. It was one of those those cars that come after you when you're doing one of the blow up missions. You, you shoot the guys. And I took the car home. This one I won. You can tell by the drabness I won. I tend to keep the paint job when you win them off the wheel, just so you know you won them off the wheel. Night Shark, you gotta have a, a free Night Shark. Do I need two? Should I sell my other one? I like the paint job on my other one better, so here's another Night Shark. Eh. Um, and another Issy. I like the. Uh, this is this is the one I won off the wheel as well. I think I've only modified to give it some, um, to give it some spoiler action. But so that's these are those are both wheel wins. We'll have to do more wheel wins in a little while. I have a prairie. This is another bruffy hoopla kind of thing, where, again, I don't know what the hoopla exactly is, but I like the look of it. And so I have a prairie. So that's a bruffy hoopla! Hoopla! Okay, let's pop out of here. We already do... See, I'm, I'm trying to remember what I've done, because I, I did some of these before. We'll pop up here. Did we do Marietta Heights already? I think we did. Did we do Mary? Yeah, because we did it with the... I'll, I'll check the video file. If we didn't, we'll come back to it. Because This is the one with the... Uh, Uptown funk you up stuff, right? I did all that. It's a problem because I've done this video twice. Because I'm silly and I... I recorded the trip down with the... Uh, the first time down here with the limo. And I was doing something else, so I figured, well, I'm not going to record that. These were there. I do feel like I'm missing a garage, though. Why is this dying this badly? Come on, get out. And here we are. We've got... The Gulf. Which has been done up... In a matte wrap kind of look to it. In honor of the... Uh, the Top Gear episode where Jeremy Clarkson wrapped his keys in the top of this, and at least it looks good. This looks better than that. There is another... This is another... Uh, another uh, Saber Turbo Custom that I put together, I think, just for 4th of July stuff. 
So I have two Saber Turbo Customs. I could get rid of one of those if I really needed to. But what am I going to do for 4th of July stuff? you got to have one. So got an adder. This is another car I got simply because of the breathy hoopla. But I do agree with this. I do like the adder. Hoopla! One of these I bought on a sale, one I won, and I don't remember which is which. I think the, I think the, the white one is the one that I won off the wheel. Two tyrants. I like them both. Judge me if you will. I think you gotta love the tyrant. The tyrant is so obnoxious. It's so huge. It's so huge. ETR1 is one that I got really late in the game. Yeah, that's right. I got this on sale somewhere on the line. And it's just, you know, it's like the Vector. I came to it later, and, the, and it's just a super super handling car. Gotta love it. Keeping that. Alright, so here we have a Retinue, and we have a Retinue Mark II. So we have, here's our Retinue wing. So we have that going for us. Keeping both of those. And you got your formula cars. One's the Indy car, one's the... The Fed, this is the PR, this is the what? The BR8? I don't know your letters. Okay, the BR8, that's the fastest of, of all of them. And then this one is the fastest in a straight line. Yeah, the DR1. All right, let's do the time warp again, because again, I want to see. I feel like I'm missing a garage from down here. I have to check something. Okay, so we're, we're closing in here on the last few spaces. And this last garage is the only one that actually has cars in it, so that's that's an interesting thing. Well, a few more other things to look at here. Okay, so here we are. You've got the other two open wheel cars. We have all the, there's, there's my Oscillate R88. And this used to be the fastest, the PR4. Before they, they switched up and gave us the, uh, the BR8. All of these cars, by the way, one on the wheel. So that's what they have in common. Again, I wish the lighting was better, but I guess it looks like a garage, a parking garage, so hey. But all of these have been one on the wheel. Does this, I think, I think this has the machine guns on it? My Ardent. Do wish they could make this sucker raceable, because it's a great car. And it was a Christmas win, so it's Christmas livery. But I still can't use it in any Christmas kind of racing kind of thing. Because reasons, because Rockstar has reasons, because some gun, some cars that have guns on them you can race, and some cars that I don't, I can't even figure it out. Here's a Segoy that I won on the wheel, pretty much as it came off the wheel. All these are pretty much as they came off the wheel. I believe I added the spoiler on this one. My Lamborghini Countach. I got to see Torero here, although it really should be an Infernus classic, but that's neither here nor there. I could throw a front wing on this, I think, and then it'll look just like the one from, uh, I think the one from uh, Cannonball Run 3 had it, which would be Speed Zone in the United States. Here's my Entity XF. The better Entity. This is the good one. This is the one they have. I like the paint. This one they did some work on. This one they put a neat paint job on. So that was good. Here's my one pariah. Which means I have two pariahs. But this one I think, I don't even think I put the spoiler on it. May I put a spoiler on it? No. This is as it came off the wheel. I don't have a problem having two pariahs. I like the way I got the other one set up. So I think we're going to leave that as it is. Here's my Nero. Which the Nero, look, they did it all up in green. This is as it came off the wheel. That has a built-in spoiler to it, so you can leave that going. Just, I, I think I revved this one up with, with uh, 
all the options, but I'm not real sure. Ah, Schlagen GT. Another wheel win. Again, I left it as it is. Did I put a little spoiler on it? Maybe. Wheel win. And, of course, you know, the for doing the missions for the... Uh, for the casino, you get the armored Paragon R. The Vats, the, these are all wheel wins. Or, or or one from freebies. They're freebies. Freebies. Remember that? What show is that from, gang? There's some there's some trivia for you. As I call it the Sparrow, I realize I have to give you a quick look at the Moonfool vehicles here. It might be easier just to pull them in. I mean, I got the, uh, I don't know, because I'm never going to use that little sub. Well, we're going to zip up here to... Am I even recording? Am I recording? I yeah, I'm recording. Let's stop. Okay, this... I was checking to see if I... Am I recording now? I don't even know I'm recording now. I keep hitting the button, but there's no indication of what's going on. Bam. Yeah, that's... Here we are. As I got the Sparrow out, I thought, you know, I really should do something with the Kosaka vehicles, too. All right, so this is... We're going to run through here real quick. Motorcycles. So here's our clubhouse motorcycles. We've got a Faggio mod, which is as reflective and light up as possible. There is my Akuma. Is that the Picasso? Is that? No, it's my 801. I have, but both of them have the, the funky wheels on. So there's my 801. But you have to have an 801. I mean, for eight grand. I mean, it is one of the fastest bikes you can have going. Um, I forget why I got this. is from the uh, Kyle Perico update, as I recall. I got this as a, what was it, a Dinka? The Verus. Yeah, it's not very good. But it's there. And you can load it up with bullets and gasoline. Okay, sneezing done. Got my Sovereign here for all kind of 4th of July fun. There's my Sanctus, which I believe I got for some kind of freebie kind of thing here. It's free again. They periodically just give you away the Sanctus. Eh, I'm not, I'm not big into Halloween. It's here. It's painted Halloween-y. It's good for Halloween memes if I ever do Halloween meme-y kind of stuff. It's there. And then you got there's the Akuma, right? Did I not, did I not put the uh, the white walls on the? There's the Akuma, right? Yeah, it's a nice bike, a lot of acceleration. It's it's a chunky boy. BF 400, obviously a mainstay of uh, of off road races. Yeah, you've got to love that. I have two of these. These are two gargoyles, one with each paint job. When you know the 77 and the 69, I like them both. They're both cool. What the heck is on the back here? It's kind of worn. It's a girl next to a gas pump, and it's kind of kind of worn. That's the look. Ooh, I didn't even notice that there was a sprunk one on that one. If you can have that same location as the pure lube on this one. So it, they both have the big wheel modification that allows you to, when wheeling, uh, achieve wild speeds because it, it does its own self curb boosting kind of thing. So we've, we've got that going for us. And then I have an actual lost MC. What the heck did they even call this thing? It was the lost. De yeah, the Damon. The Western Damon. But it's a lost MC one that I grabbed from a lost MC person. The lost. So, so there's that. Let's see, we'll go through the front. Here you can see the rest of Ride Free. Should I get a drink? I think I need a drink. Sandy, hit me up. What's your point? First person. That's Bet you can't hit me with a quarter. I don't even know what that what that means. Thank you for fuzzing me up a little bit, Cindy. And I go drive a helicopter.
and it's smoking badly, but can we get to the airport from here? That will be our next thing. I think I don't think that there's nothing else I've got been up here already. So this will be the last thing. And then we need to call in the Kotsaka to really wrap it up. Well, I mean, we could we could zip over and just look at what stuff I have on the on the boat on the the, the, the luxury liner. But I mean, that's just uh, that's just standard stuff, real whatever came with the the Pisces. The Pisces was reported by Bruffy1322 to be the fastest of the boats. But if you average out all the vehicles you get with it, they, they're the fastest. So. You could be just completely completionist on this and just do all that kind of thing. We're, that's why I'm coming here. We're going we're gonna to make this a really comprehensive tour of Rusty Jack stuff. We're coming in. Ugh. And it's dead. Ugh. It didn't blow up. It may blow up. We no longer have a moon pool, moon pool vehicle out. I did ram it into a mountain wall trying to check and see if I was recording before. So that was a thing. All right. So, you know, we have some wonderful stuff here. I mean, as far as, you know, I love the... What the hell is this even called? It is the what? The Tula. The Mammoth Tula. The Tula's got to be one of my favorite planes in here. It's just got so much style to it. You know, it's got all of that, you know... What was the TV show? Tales of the Tales of the Golden uh, Monkey. Was it Tales of the Golden Monkey? Oh, something along those lines. There was a monkey involved. I remember that. Got the Ron. This is the most recent addition to the collection. Was the Ron Racer. Sea Breeze, which is a must-have. Akula, must-have. I really should do something funky with that, but it does look nice and black. Uh, I do have the other stealth helicopter, which I've done nothing with. It's not gotten any kind of upgrades, but it's here. I forget why. What made that worthwhile? I got myself a Nakoda. Got yourself a Starling here we got going. That's not our Havoc. I, do, I don't know. Do I have a Havoc? Here's the Rogue. Did I just make it bounce forward on, a, on its nose wheel? Was it like sitting back and then just bounce forward? Can we, can we do that? Can we just bump it around? Got the pyro. I really should do something with the pyro paint. Molotov. You know, we're, we're, we're good here. We got played. And then there's some stuff in storage. In storage. We do have a Havoc. Which I guess we can we can put some stuff out here so you can see it. The Havoc, and yes, move the Havoc to slot three. Uh, the Cuban 800. Um, storage. Oh, I just got moved there. The Luxor. I have a Luxor and a Luxor Deluxe, I think, don't I? Or do I just have a Luxor? Yeah, maybe the Deluxe is on the other one. Let's see, the Volatile we take out last. Ah, the V11. The Strike Force. We're going to give you the full tour here. Why do I keep doing it the wrong way? Storage. And the Savage. I'll put the savage out here. I'm gonna put the other stuff back at some point, but this is all before we get to the volatile. So the Cuban you get. Everybody with their hangers got a Cuban, and this is mine. The cute little blue little Cuban. I think that's the same color that it comes as. So that's I could be wrong. Havoc, we got that. I hate this little thing. It just you can't hardly land them. 
They're just really, really hateable. So I think I have the gold Luxor. The gold Luxor Deluxe is on my other character. But this one, this is nice. I like the way I've done it up the in, in the blue and the orange. Like It, it fits the livery of uh, the whole thing. My Strike Force, this particular Strike Force looks classic in the classic gray with the uh, with the teethy teeth. On my other character, it looks like Power Glide. That's, that was the whole thing. So, and what else? Savage. All kinds of orange and blue and aggressiveness going on here. But now we gotta go back and we gotta show the last plane. Because this is a, this is gonna put a lot of stuff in storage. Large slot one. Boof. There she is. The volatile. Can I even can I walk underneath this? Okay, I can just barely just barely walk underneath. That is a big plane. Useful? No. Cool? Yes. It's right it's snuggled in. Just enough. Can I even get around? Can I get through there? Yes, just. So now we need to take something. Well, we'll take it, make it be the, the stealth helicopter. We'll do it that way. We did that. We don't really. We just need to gear up. I guess we could stealth it, even though we're in a close crew. Where is my boat? Here, over this side. That's about the same place I like to have my Kotsaka, so I'm going to pull the Kotsaka in from there as well. But I'm not going to try and land this on the Kotsaka. That would be entertaining, but foolhardy. I think this is the first time I've ever flown this. We're going to land this out on the boat. We're going to call him the Kosaka and then land this out on the boat. The night sky is looking particularly pretty, isn't it? All the contrails and zip over the city. Not a lot of point to a single player, you know, player here when you're, you get this versus the Akula, but the Akula was in storage, so hey. We should be able to see the boat by now. There it is. Gear down. Did the gear go down? Yes. Coming in stealth. Yeah, LZT, I got some bad news for you too. I'm not interested in doing those businesses at all anymore. And I would shut them down if it, they weren't feeding my nightclub. The nightclub, I am happy to do, but. Okay, we got a chopper on the back. Let us call in services, put stock on, request code stock. Bring this down. It's a little big for the ship. But, it, you know, it works. It works well enough. There's only, you don't know, hop into the blades. Here we are on the reward of risk. That's the name of my boat. The other one I have in my other character is, of course, the Ruck. You'll see that in the the other show at some point. 
Now let's see if we can can we leap right onto it? Yay! Whoa! Into the seat. Into the, we're, we're, our feet are out the. What's go okay? Let's just, just just get in the boat. Just get in the boat. Wait it. Wait a minute. I requested the Kotsaka. It, it's directly underneath my boat. Hello? Is is that true? I didn't know that was a possibility. Well, how can it surface? Okay, hold on. If this is true, style, where is G Fred ready? Let's check it out. Now that looks like the, the one boat. I'm not seeing the other. Well, wait a minute. Can I dive in here? Why can I not go down? I are only seeing one boat. There's not two boats. All right, one boat's as good as another. Let's jump on. Let's jump on a jet ski. Sometimes it does weird things where the, the other boat is like nearby-ish. Is that it over there? It doesn't show up on the map, right? Yeah, that's. Why the heck is my Kasaka over here? When it's now, it's on the map properly. Oh, GTA. You think you're so funny. Alright, well, this was kind of the plan anyway. Skaboosh. Flip flop, flip flop, zip jabber, enter. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We may. I, I'm actually half tempted next week when they go when they bring back the the Sapphire Panther to do that again with an aggressive loadout. Might not be from this account. This account. This this character might be from my main one. Might only do it once. I don't know. It's going to depend on how bad it goes. And I might not. To be perfectly honest, okay, now that's not the way to the moon pool. Moon pool this way. Yeah. Okay, so obviously we have the Sparrow, which is probably one of the most useful and well-used vehicles I have in the game. Between the missile launcher and its quick deployment, and it, you can call it in, and you don't have to be in, a, uh, in an organization. Okay, who's still here? Are you still here? Are you watching all of this? We're two hours into this and you're still watching? Yeah, in case you didn't wonder, something's happened to my audio. I'm here in the editor and I was in mid-sentence there and suddenly it went mute. Not sure why. Did I mute it for some strange reason? I do not know. I was espousing the wonderful things about the Sparrow. Sparrow is great. It, it, they, they give it to you closer to, than the buzzard, usually. The buzzard, sometimes you have to walk. Here you got our Toreador. It's dolled up in a ultra blue and gray, kind of very sharky kind of look. And it's, again, another wonderful vehicle. Sparrow and the Toreador are really two fantastic vehicles. You know, and uh, just the love the abilities of, of both. Now, one of these things is not like the other. And can you guess which one does it belong? Yeah, this this thing. I don't even know the name of it. The Avisa, I guess. I don't know, but it's a it's a four man sub. Holds the same amount of people as as the car does, except it goes really slow and it's not armed. So you'd use it, I guess, for maybe making movies about you know Jacques Cousteau. I I, I don't know. 
it's cool that it's here and it looks neat, but that's the thing. That's what you're going to use. Um, I must have been saying something very similar to that when I filmed this because my uh, what I was doing here seems to match up with what I'm saying. But this is happening months later. So, uh, yeah, so that's, that's where that's at. I'm just going to watch along with you and try and comment because I don't remember what the heck I was saying. It's, you know, this is done again. Back, this was recorded in on November 23rd. It's now, oh, the 11th of January, the next year. So it's oh, January 11th of 22. So, yeah, I have no idea where I was going with this and why I'm walking in the walls and getting in the sparrow, apparently. We're going to fly somewhere. Off to the next thing. It really is a great helicopter. It's one of the fastest. I think it might be the fastest helicopter in the game. I'm not sure. Let's see. Where are we headed next? Maybe over to the... Uh, I don't know. Are we going to the boat? Are we going to the luxury liner? Did we do that already? We might have done that already. I'm, I'm just picking up where the sound dropped off. And I'll be honest, I'll be really shocked if anybody gets this far and like they're still interested. Like, you know, this is me recording, you know, oh look, here's what my stuff was for, you know, someday when GTA 5 is shut down because GTA 7 is so popular. You know, that's just, you know, I'll still have my memories. Memories in the corners of my mind. Um, I guess we're doing the boat now. This is the, uh, the reward of risk, I believe is what I named it. That's there's something darn close. Am I going down the back to look at the... No, I'm just looking at what you get with it. You see, you got yourself, you know, your, your dinghy. You get a nice custom dinghy. Uh, I believe you get a Speedo and some some shark, you know, speed shark things there. Oh, look, there's a little bit of a lag uh, thing. You know, the reason, it's a Pisces yacht. And the nice thing about the Pisces yacht is that if you kind of look at what vehicles come with it like there's a swift you get the fastest vehicles that were available at the time that the, this came out you know there's faster stuff now but i mean as far as what you get with the boat this is the best boat as far as i mean all the boats are the same otherwise you know like they have, might have some different you know they're laid out a little bit differently or one might look prettier or have better this or that but i mean i think the pisces is a nice one you all have a hot tub you can all just kick back and chill here in the hot tub I'm pretty sure this is probably where I was just wrapping up the whole whole overall garage tour kind of thing. The funny part is you're really talking a lot of time warp kind of going on here because this was recorded on the 23rd of November. I'm voicing it over on the 11th of January. And you know what? Truth be told, um, I mean, just this little bit of voiceover. And I'm, I'm going to put this into the kind of the regular rotation of GTA stuff, which will be out somewhere in July. Because I've had, I had a lot of GTA videos. And I'm actually probably... I, mean, I always keep saying I'm going to try playing other games and getting better stuff into the mix. I, it, there's always some GTA thing going on that sucks me back in. I do like the game. Especially now that I'm kind of established. I mean, you haven't even seen the stuff that I've gotten after this, you know. You don't even... You know, in this video, the, this, this Rusty Jack doesn't even know about the agency yet. So there's this, you know, for as much as it is out of time and out of place. I mean, most of what you see here isn't going to change. And most of the other stuff has been introduced and anything new I've gotten has been introduced in other videos. So we, everything's covered. You know, we're, we're pretty well here. I, I don't think... There may have been one or two cars I got rid of in the process, but I mean, for the most part, I think we're, we're pretty well established here. We're, we're, this is... It is what it is as far as... Things. Now, I'm curious. I don't know what's going to happen in, in March, which will have, you know, when Expanded and Enhanced comes out. That will come out before this. So there's a lot to look forward to. I don't know if they're going to do much with the enhanced, Expanded and Enhanced as far other than just make the graphics nicer. You know, it, there's a lot of things I'd like to see. I mean, I'd like, I'd like to see them finally get the stock market working. That'd be nice. Remember the stock market? Yeah, that, that would be a good thing. You, can, you have it work just with missions. You know, don't let it be a random stock market you play. Otherwise, well, that would be a really wonderful game, wouldn't it? There used to be a game I used to play in college on the old VAC system called Gigabucks. And it was, I mean, this was ASCII. 
This was just, for, for kids who don't know what ASCII is, that's just letters. Okay, just letters and little symbols made from those codes. Oh dear, here we are. We're in the, for some reason we're here looking at the aircraft. I don't know why. Well, let's continue talking. But the, uh, you used to be able to, did I forget to not do any of the aircraft? Is that a thing? No, I'm going outside. But anyway, what you'd be able to do is you, it was basically a stock market simulator. And all you did was buy certain amounts of stock and sell sell the stuff when it went high, buy low, sell high, and then it was a, a race to see. It was a multiplayer game on a, on a VAX mainframe at the University of Scranton. Which, the, the interesting thing is Hello, that it would only advance if somebody was playing it. And, you know, you couldn't just leave your terminal unattended and let it run overnight unless you could tell net in, and, you know, from home, which I used to. Or from, like, say, the lab. They used to hate it when you do that. They eventually kill the process because you would eat up a lot of processor time for people who are doing useful things. As I recall, you know, one of the guys actually got banned for doing that. But, you know, he had... He was way ahead of the curve there as far as setting up fake logins Great. and stealing people's login information. And getting other accounts. Because what people do is they would get a VAX account for when they uh, took, you know... Program in computer science 101 and then they never used it again it wasn't like you know yeah there was email but it was only internal email you wouldn't really have internet access back then this was 1990s you know we're talking early 90s i graduated in 93 so you're talking this was the early days and people take it they never use it again and eventually if you didn't log in your account would be deleted so what the one buddy would do is he would log in he'd set up a program so that it would mimic the login and then it would just silent log them out and the person would, and if you didn't see wrong attempt, the wrong attempt message, then you wouldn't notice the fact that you just gave them your password and they would never change your password. So we had 10 accounts running at any one time and so they couldn't get rid of them. So we would run this, this uh, stock market simulator and see who could win gigabucks and it was a complete waste of time, much like this is. I think this is just me getting, uh, I think I finally made the, uh, yeah, I finally made uh, the Hydra a personal vehicle. And that's, that's a good thing. I should really probably paint that something cool, but I'm probably not. I'm probably leaving that looking like a Hydra. It's pretty well camouflaged. But can you imagine if you could do that in game and if you could influence it by actions in game? It would be, it would give a whole new level. Especially if everybody was uh, w was running the same the same stock market as opposed to our own individual stock markets. That would be crazy. You could do something in game and bankrupt somebody, and they'd be like, you know, coming after you. Oh, it'd be, the, the, the rock star should love that. It would, it would keep people going for a long time. Now, if you make a lot of money and then cash out and then, you know, buy a bunch of stuff, well, I guess that would hurt short card sales. So, man, you know, maybe that wouldn't work for them. <sighs> Oh, boy, excuse me. So it's at any rate, a long day. But we're, uh, we're, yeah, so now we're just, what am I pulling in now? Yeah, I can't even see it on the screen. I got that, I'm on draft uh, preview here. <coughs> so I can't tell what's going on. What am I looking for? Oh, you know, I might be just going through everything I own in Pegasus rather than pulling it all out. It's like, look, there's the things. They're all the same. There's my Pegasus. I got Pegasus stuff. We're not going to do a Pegasus tour because there's no Pegasus garage. We need a Pegasus garage. Can you imagine if they just set up a Pegasus garage where you could just go get your stuff as in addition to calling it and you could see it all parked next to each other? And that would encourage people to get stuff because when you can see it and Thank it's you, it's tactile, then, you know, people are more invested you in it. And there would be spots left open, you know. Well, you have this cargo bob, but what about the other cargo bob? But you really need other cargo bob? You really need a $10 million gold plane, which I have here? It was on sale. It was a major... I think I got it for like a million or something like that. It wasn't... There's was some ridiculous... I think probably an Amazon Prime sale back when they actually used to do those. Like, you know, right now I'm, we're in a, in January of 22, all you're getting is the 100K. You're not getting any other big sales. I think this was some kind of massive, ridiculous sale here. That allowed me to get the golden plane. Make you look like I'm such a high roller. Which I, I am kind of a high roller, but I wouldn't spend 10 million on this. It's identical to the other one, which I also have, because that was on sale. 
and we're just flying along. Singing a song. Dun, 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 See, like this jet's great, except there's nowhere really to land it. I mean, it's, if you land it, it's just destroyed. Unless you're landing at another airport, and there's really only like, a couple airports. And there's really not a lot of reason to go between the two. It's just, you know. Now, if you could fly that puppy to Cayo Perico and then just land and go about the island freely to look at things, you know, that would be cool. It would make zero sense, I realize, because Cayo Perico is supposed to be so locked down. But, eh, you could make up some kind of excuse. You're cool. You're awesome. You're hanging with the English Dave. Something, you know. That's how we got it in the first place. Maybe we could befriend El Rubio, the psychopath, and then, you know, on one time, sometimes you're there as his friend, and sometimes you're there as his enemy, looking to rob him, looking for any reason to take his stuff. I'm taking a break from all that, though. I've got right now, as I'm voicing this over, I've spent some down. I got it up to, like, 75 or something like that, 70. And then we, the agency, the contract DLC, he had spent like 20 million of that. So I did down, now I'm down probably a little bit below 50 million. Did we not do this garage? I don't know, we're going in now. Or am I just checking for monies? I don't know. I'm with you, I have no idea what we're doing up here at Pixel Pete's. There's not a lot of video left, I know that. I wonder if this is just a clip that I just added on. Yeah, I'm getting money. Well, we're getting very close to these words, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I am really impressed if you're still here. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.